Details of the two big projects are still coming into focus here at the state capitol. Well, I know that uh, there's some economic development projects that are time sensitive and in order to uh, make things happen the way they need to happen, we needed to have that issue before this legislature this week. But Governor Bryant says you'll want to pay attention once they're a done deal. We believe it's the largest single day. Uh, Nissan, when it first opened, was 3,000 jobs. This is 3,500. So this should be the largest single day in economic development in Mississippi's history. While some of the specifics are sketchy, if you ask lawmakers, the governor revealed this much. One will be located near Bolton, Mississippi, near Norwell Road uh, in uh, West Hines County. It will provide about 2,500 jobs jobs, about a $1.45 billion investment. The other one is on the Mississippi Gulf Coast. The Port of Gulfport will provide about a thousand jobs related to the shipping industry there. While no one at the Capitol was ready to give up other details, the call for a special session indicates the projects will be a tire manufacturer and a maritime fabrication and assembly facility. The Clarion Ledger is identifying the companies as Continental Tires and Top Ship. Senator John Horn says the Hines County project has been in the works for a while now. It's a large ask from everything I, I, I understand. And again, uh, we're just um, more, most interested that there be inclusion and, and diversity on the project. 